porcelain gauze around the base of the chest tube in the case of air leaks. If there is no air leak, then you can go directly to gauze. We place a piece of gauze underneath the chest tube to buttress it a little bit from the wall, followed by gauze on top, and secure everything with tegaderm or tape. The dressing should be air and watertight. Always perform an x-ray to confirm the position of your tube and the effectiveness of your intervention. In summary, it is important to know your indication for chest tube placement. Know any factors that make your patient higher risk, bleeding, previous surgery, and if they have an elevated hemidiaphragm. Be prepared and take help. Position your patient carefully and identify your landmarks. Place the chest tube carefully and secure it well. And finally, always obtain a chest x-ray to confirm the placement and the effectiveness of intervention. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Sling gauze around the base of the chest tube in the case of air leaks. If there is no air leak, then you can go directly to gauze. We place a piece of gauze underneath the chest tube to buttress it a little bit from the wall, followed by gauze on top, and secure everything with tegaderm or tape. The dressing should be air and watertight. Always perform an x-ray to confirm the position of your tube and the effectiveness of your intervention. In summary, it is important to know your indication for chest tube placement. Know any factors that make your patient higher risk, bleeding, previous surgery, and if they have an elevated hemidiaphragm. Be prepared and take help. Position your patient carefully and identify your landmarks. Place the chest tube carefully and secure it well. And finally, always obtain a chest x-ray to confirm the placement and the effectiveness of intervention. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.